Hello and welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. Today I would like to show you the drums section of Avenger and um, you can find the drum tab here right next to the oscillator tab. And um, if you click on it you will see by default it's empty. Um, Part of the factory library of Avenger is a huge amount of drum kits and their belonging sequences. Um, you can see you can switch here from loading drum kits to loading sequences. Sequences are for our drum sequencer and I can demonstrate this best by just loading a random drum kit. So, like you see now here, oh, let me disable the normal oscillator, which playing, uh, which is playing a sawtooth. I mute it here. So this is the Deep House One drum kit. You can see on the drum sequencer. This is the bass drum, rim shot, claps, snares, various shakers or hi hats and the crash. Okay, um, these are drum samples which can be uh, filled by your, with your, you can fill them with your own samples if you like, but I will show this later. Um, let me first show you um, what this green lock symbol here is. Uh, at the moment it's active. This means if you're now loading, if you are now loading the Deep House 1 drum kit for example, then the same time the Deep House 1 sequence is loaded. And if I load uh, Deep House 2 for example, you will see the sequence for Deep House 2 is loaded also. If this lock symbol is not active, then these two can be loaded separately. This means I can now keep my Deep House 2 drum kit but load uh, sequence notes for from a different drum kit. For example, this belongs to a, a dubstep drum kit. This is an EDM. And always it stays on the same kit. Uh, the other way around is possible too. For example, I can keep this drum sequence, but I can load another drum kit. Let me choose the pause one drum kit again. So as you can see, the combination possibilities are endless. You can combine everything with everything. But now, for the moment, let's keep the lock symbol activated. So if I now load, uh, for example, a dubstep kit, it will be the correct dubstep sequence loaded. Let's show some more drum kits. Here, electro bounce. These are for lower BPM. And so on and so on. It's really an endless list.
Okay, so... Uh, even... Some stuff which is not club orientated. Yeah, as you can see, there is really, really much stuff here. Again, load, let's load the Deep House drum kit. And um, now I will quickly show you the sequencer. Um, let's mark all nodes and click on delete. So now we have uh, an empty sequencer. You can move nodes around. You can also use uh, the cursor keys, left, right, up, down. Um, what you else can do is you have different autofill options here. Let's use here, fill the clap. And maybe let us use here different velocities. So this, and now you want to copy this pattern to the rest. You can choose repeat quarter and you have it on the whole sequencer. As here we have shuffle applied. What you also can do is to, you can roll s uh, single notes by choosing a factor here. Two means these are two notes in one. Uh, you can even go higher and choose, for example, six, six time roll. Now it's really fast. Um, furthermore, what you have is um, these parameters here, velocity, panning, are for each separate node independently. This means this one can be panned left and this one can be panned right, if you like or you can give them different pitches. This one is deep, this one is high. Gate defines the length of the sample. Now it's very short. Yeah. Um, Ah, and let me show you my favorite feature, which is uh, the pre-shifting, which works fantastic, by the way. If you click on any sample here on edit, you will come to the sample editor. You can apply envelopes here in uh, for the volume. The start <coughs> point can be set here the end point. Uh, you have an additional gain here. You can set it to mono or polyphone mode and so on and so on. Uh, the volume, of course. Now I'm in the bass drum here. The initial, uh, initial pitch can be set here. Panning, spike again. Low pass and high pass filter. And the delay is quite unique. For example, you have this hand clap here and you want that it starts a little bit before the kick. So what you do in uh, Cubase, you move the note a bit out of the grid, but it's easier here. You can just go to the edit and define a delay, a negative delay. If you define a positive delay, you see the sample is delayed in the other direction, but we want the delay in the opposite direction. So I can move this to the left and you see the screen bar. The screen bar defines some kind of anchor point where the grid will be aligned to. So I choose here my main impact of the clap. And what now happens is, let me, uh, 
disable the thing which is unimportant now. You hear the clap is starting earlier. Um, the green marker will always be on the grid. That means everything which is coming before the green marker will be played before. And this works on every BPM. It does not matter if you have 200 BPM or 50 BPM. It's always staying and sounding the same. So let me make it more extreme here. That's too much. Let me show it on a different kit maybe. This, this one is uh, great. Let me delete everything here. So you hear this pre-clap pre here. Let me gain it. And now if you do not use this, use this, it would sound this way. Not correct. So now you can hear the perfect sounding. And like I said, this works in any BPM. If I put it to, let's say, 80 BPM, it is still working 140 does not matter. Okay, so that's the delay feature. And what else do we have? Okay, mute solo, volume, pan, pitch can be accessed directly here in the main menu. Um, there are more options here. For example, you can mark with holding the shift key and you can mark several notes at once and then you can for example with the cursor key lower the velocity of this group you can move this group or delete whatever you want um, you can also do crazy stuff like mirror the whole the whole thing um, let me once again mark them. Uh, up down mirroring. And of course you can copy paste parts. For example, copy this and paste it here. No problem. Okay. So I hope, ah, what I could uh, show you in the end, um, how to import own drums. Let's initialize it and load maybe a drum sequence like future house or something. So as you can see now, um, all the slots are empty and you can use your own sample libraries, for example, to fill them just with drag and drop. I would recommend using really the the slot names and fill them with the right samples. So a bass drum should always be in the bass drum slot. So you will assure that all these drum sequences will all work as intended. So let's move the clap to the clap and snare one, two, snare two. Percussion. This one can also be greatly used with our delay. So I set the delay here to the end. And now this swoosh effect will always be aligned correctly. You will hear this when I when I will okay let's let's redo this quickly. Uh, let's fill the bass drum and here is the swoosh effect. Let's say it should be here and here. Clap. You hear the swoosh is always perfectly aligned. Let me quickly show you the routing options you have uh, in each drum kit. Uh, it looks similar to the one you have already seen in the oscillator section. 
Um, you can the 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 special thing about this is that every drum has its own routing. This means you can say, for example, we want to have a reverb just on the clap. We have here our reverb send effect in our send rack. Now we can just add a reverb in this clap routing. And you can hear the reverb is only on the clap. Or for example, let's choose the delay. I want to have the delay on the bass drum. Um, if you want to have an effect on all drum slots at once, you can just use your uh, shift key and do a multiple selection of all like this. And if I choose now the reverb here, you see that it's applied to every of to to every drum slot at once. So let's deactivate the reverb and let's see the routing goes at the moment to the master effect slot and you can change this to any uh, FX bus you like but at the moment it's routed into the master FX slot this means the drums go completely through the master FX and All effects you open here are applied to the complete drum section. If you choose a phaser or flanger, or even mastering effects like a multiband limiter. Or a compressor, maybe. So, as you can see, you can apply effects on every single drum slot or on the total mix of all drums at once. Uh, by the way, you have the mixing desk here, which also lets you um, change the volume and mix all drums at once. Looks better than choosing uh, using these mobs, although they are uh, the same, as you can see. Okay, I totally forgot to uh, demonstrate that the editor, the uh, drum sequencer, can have different lengths. So you can basically clone, clone the first part and you have now double the length you can make variations here for example furthermore you have of course different speeds even uh, triplets which is quite funny then because um, the sequence is automatically automatically calculated to triplets like you hear with one click you have a triplet of your beat and you can go back to the quarter synced beat anytime okay thank you for watching i think that's enough for now uh, we'll see you in the next video have fun bye